Hi, I'm Katie from A Whole Lot of Cheese, and welcome to our special edition Christmas episode. We have a special guest today, Erin. Hey, everybody. <laughs> and we are making you breakfast. We're going to try to help you guys out for Christmas with a little make-ahead breakfast, whether it's for Christmas morning. Most important meal of the day. Or <laughs> for the day after Christmas when you probably don't want to cook because you spent Christmas with your family and cooking for them. So we have some ham. Uh, because some people have Christmas ham for dinner. I don't. Uh, I don't either. We've discussed this, yeah. but yeah. some people do. But so uh, you can use ham. Yeah, a lot. A lot of people have ham, but just not us weird people. So we have ham. We have cheese. Duh. We have some veggies because you want to want to be a little healthy. Yeah, we health healthify. Yeah, right? healthify a little bit. A little bit. Got some eggs, of course, because you can't have breakfast without eggs. And we're gonna bake it for you, and it will be ready in an hour. Yay, let's make it. All right, so the first thing we need to do is chop these veggies. All right. So we got some onion and we got some pepper. I only like red pepper, so we're only using red peppers, but you can use- I'm a green pepper girl, Yeah. but I like red pepper too. Yeah, so you can, it is. you can use whatever color you want, but we're using red today. Awesome. So- How big do you want these pieces? For uh, the pepper and the onion. We want them pretty small. Okay. So chop away. Shall I do the whole onion that you have here? Yeah, we're gonna do a whole half an onion in, in, in this recipe. Okay. So you can put the little uh, guts of the pepper into this bowl. Gut bowl. Gut bowl. Got it. Yep. <laughs> While you are doing that, I'm going to get our eggs together. We are gonna have 10 eggs in this recipe. So I already have some in this bowl. You can do half egg white half regular egg if you want to be a little healthy. Put those yolks in there. We're putting the yolks in we today. Want yolks. <laughs> we want it all today. We want it all. It's Christmas time. You're right. <laughs> we're, not, we're not skimping not, on Christmas. It's not the new year quite yet. We don't have to be so no. healthy quite yet. No. We'll save that for January. Just be careful not to get any uh, shells in your eggs because that is a pain to pick out. All right, then you just mix your eggs up. Yummy. Mm -hmm. Put in half a cup of almond milk. Why do you use almond milk? Because uh, I never um, use a whole gallon of regular milk in time. So okay. it lasts yeah. a little longer. It's a little yeah. healthier. Uh, there's no real health reason for me. I can drink dairy, but I can't. some people can. So thank you. You're welcome. I was thinking of you. <laughs> some salt and pepper in the egg mixture. All right. Size of all this is good. Yeah, that's Pepper. perfect. 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 While you're chopping that, I'm going to heat the stove. Have some olive oil in the pan. All right. We want it over like medium high heat here. All right. We're going to put those peppers and those onions in that pan. Then we're going to do the cheese, the most important okay. part. All right, we have some garlic in here too with the peppers. Just gonna get those going while you do that onion. Okay, so I have to ask. You said that you don't have ham at Christmas. No ham. So what are we doing at Christmas time at, at your house? Oh, Christmas time at my house. So my family's not big into cooking, I guess, in our old age, now that we're all grown up. Um, but my family's kind of always done the Chinese food, watching movies. Have you ever seen A Christmas Story? Of course. Okay, so that's on 24 seven at my house. Literally the second that the marathon comes on, that's all is, that's allowed on the television. Every single TV. So we do that and then we get Chinese and just hang out. It's a nice relaxing time. Nothing wrong with that. Life gets pretty hectic. What do you do? Well, no ham either. So. There's no ham at my house either <laughs> because uh, we have a Italian feast. We have homemade Delicious. manicotti. We have gnocchi. We that's have your favorite. That's my favorite. You love that. That's my favorite. <laughs> we have gravy. My grandma makes gravy, which for those who don't know, is spaghetti sauce with the meat, as the Italians call it. Yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like I've had a recipe of the grandma's gravy before. Yeah, it's the only gravy I like to eat. Picky, picky <laughs> girl. <laughs> Any other kind of gravy, it's not really my thing. Is this small enough? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, bite size. That's what bite I size. Also, I like onions, so I would eat yeah. this raw. Yeah, we can. We got that. All right, cool. All right, I'm gonna put this in the on in the pan. 
Should I cut up a little bit of red on here? Nah. No? Gut bowl. All right. All right. Okay, now you have a really important job. Okay. Uh, I need the cheese grated. Ah! We have, we have some pepper jack. A little bit of spice. A little bit Smells of, good. A little bit of pepper jack. Okay. All right. Just grate it. Just on grate the sides it. good? Yeah. How much of it grated do you want? Uh, probably about half that. Okay. I also have a mixture of sharp cheddar because we just want to mix it up a little bit. All right. Yeah. Got a little flavor mixing going on. I can't believe you're letting me grade the cheese. Well, you did such a good job chopping that I think that you have earned it. I've earned my <laughs> chopping badge, now I get my cheese badge. Yes. Let's see how good of a grader you are. I'm like on Girl Scouts right now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give badges out at the end of the show. I think that's about half. I sort of, I oh, sort of messed it up a oh little yeah. bit. Maybe a little maybe, more. Maybe a little bit more cheese. I'm not surprised that you said that. <laughs> I should have just known. I, I said half, that. but I didn't really mean half. No, when I say half, I mean all. <laughs> I just want to pretend like it's half. <laughs> but really, we're going to use all of it. Okay. All right, I'm going to take half of this cheese mixture, an actual half, mm -hmm. and stick it in with our eggs. Mix that all in. While you're doing that, All right. I'm going to take my salt and pepper over to the veggies. Cheese, cheese, cheese. We love cheese. We love a whole lot of cheese. Salt, pepper. These veggies smell yummy. They do smell really good. I'm excited for putting the spinach in. Oh yeah, the spinach. spinach has been my favorite vegetable lately. So once our veggies are a little soft over there, we're gonna add the spinach. Since Perfect. that's your favorite vegetable lately, I think that maybe you should add the spinach. Oh my gosh, I get to do like this whole recipe. Well, yeah, I don't have to do, I shouldn't have to do all the work. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> that's why I'm here. That's why you're here. That's why you were invited. <laughs> Thank you so much for inviting me. You're welcome. I needed a break. I've been working really hard. Yeah. <sighs> I'm ready. I've been working really hard just standing here watching you chop. Okay. All right. Do I do it? It's time. It's time. All right, mix it all in. It's always funny how spinach looks like so much. And then it's going to be like nothing. And then it ends up being nothing, exactly. Yeah. I don't understand why. Do you have a lid maybe for this? Mm, nope. And it would wilt down quicker and no. Nope. Okay. We don't want it to be quick because we want the veggies to keep getting soft. Jeez. Okay. We can put some more salt and pepper too. I'll do it while you're stirring. Go for it. Teamwork. Teamwork. Ooh. Mmm, yum. Oh my gosh, there's something about smelling the food, but then when you see it and smell it, oh, it's unreal. We should have smell o vision. All right, once the spinach is all wilted, you can turn that off. It is getting pretty wilted. Because then it'll be almost time for the next step. Perfect. I hope you're excited for the next step. I'm gonna make, I'm, I'm gonna let you do more things. I think my favorite step's gonna be the eating step. Well, yeah, that's usually my favorite part. <laughs> I mean, I like the cooking part, but All the right, eating I think part. I'm gonna turn this guy off. All right. Right. Or did mm. I turn it off? Mm, let's be. Let's play safe. I yeah. think I did. All right. We're good. We're good. All right. I'm not used to all this. All right. Yummo. This looks so good. Okay, we can let that cool okay. slightly. Is that guy there? Okay. What's next? All right. Madam chef girl. I gotta get ready for the next step. Like mentally prepare? Yeah, ready? Yeah, I gotta mentally prepare for it. Okay. Are you ready for the next step? I'm ready. Okay. I'm prepped. You're prepped, all right. <laughs> well, speaking of prep, we need to prep the dish. Okay. So we wanna make sure it doesn't stick, so we need to spray it. A little grease. Get all those sides. I'm just gonna make you do everything. Okay, fine. Boss round brunch, right? <laughs> That's the new that's the new name of the game. Good enough? Yeah, that's perfect. I've done that before. Yeah, you're an expert. You're also an expert <laughs> at spraying so things. Many badges I'm gonna get after Gosh, this. Gosh. I don't okay. know if I have enough badges. What's next? Okay, we wanna so like options. So many options, but the bread. Okay. I like to use rye bread because it's my favorite. Yeah, and it smells delicious. It smells delicious. A lot of added flavor. Uh, all of it. Yeah. How much? All of it. So okay. you're just gonna spread it evenly on the bottom of the dish. Okay. La la la, just like that. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, so then we have our eggs mixed together with some cheese and the almond milk from earlier. Perfect. I'm gonna pour half of it okay. on the bread. Just, 
doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to pour the rest of it later. All right. Then we want to put the mm -hmm. veggies that we made. Okay. All of them. All of them. them. All of them. Right along there. We can use this, the egg fork if we want. Yeah, I was going to say it's a little hard to get it out. To mix those spinachies right. around. Oh. Ham. Oh my gosh. It smells really good. Smell vision is becoming more and more of a like dream in my mind. It needs to happen. Okay, ham time. Mm. Ham time. Ham is my favorite. Ham time, ham time. All, right. all of it again? All of it again. Okay, should I stop asking that question? Okay, now you can stop asking that question. <laughs> yeah, so here's the ham that you have left over from dinner or yeah. you just bought at the store because ham's delicious. Because I love ham. Either way. All right. Okay. Time for the rest of the eggs. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I love meals that are colorful. Super colorful. You should eat the rainbow every day. And this is 100% the rainbow. Okay. Now we have the cheese. Okay. The rest of this cheese. Now, am I allowed to do that? Yes. Let's yeah. do it together. All right. Let's do it together. Okay. okay. You take a handful. This is like a friendship moment. This is a friendship the moment. The spreading of the cheese. All right. You do that half, I'll do this half. What happens if I get it on your half? Huh? Well, there's the, that's all right. I'll <laughs> forgive you, I guess. Thanks. Mm, all of the cheese from the bowl. Yum. All right. Oh, my goodness. Yummy. So I've been preheating the oven. Perfect. 375. So the faster it preheats, the faster we can eat. Yes. yes. So I'm going to cover it. Okay. Tin foil. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. See, I'm good at cleaning up too. Okay, stop, stop begging for batches. <laughs> All right, cover, cover. All right, now it's gonna go in the oven for about 45 minutes. Okay. Wanna, oh, will you do the honor of opening the oven? You. Careful, it's hot. Okay. All right, in it goes. Yummy for 45 minutes. So this is a make ahead breakfast casserole. So if you're not making it right now, it can go right in the oven as is, but at this time we can cover it and stick it in the fridge. Perfect. Overnight. If you want to do it longer, you can go in the freezer. Okay. But we want to get it to room temperature before we bake. So if it's in the fridge, just take it out a little bit before you want to bake. If it's in the freezer, put it in the fridge overnight, then let it come to room temperature after. Not too complicated. And then bake. And then bake. And then eat. And then eat. That's the best part. That is the best part. <laughs> it's ready. The moment has come. All right, after it's done I'm baking. Excited. Okay, now we can cut it. Okay. I'll help you. All I'll right. hold this. Okay, continuing the telling you to do things. Carefully hold it. I'm holding it so carefully. All right, we're going to slice it. So this obviously makes a lot. So if you have a big family, this is perfect. Or if you like leftovers, yep. also perfect. Perfect. I feel oh. like this could be eaten any time of day. Breakfast, lunch. Brunch. Brunch. Obviously. We love brunch. <laughs> All right, I didn't really cut these very evenly. But... I'll take the biggest one you have, it's fine. Oh, you said you want a <laughs> uh, end piece? Oh yeah, like the that crunchies a little bit there. crunchy? I like when they get toasty. Oh. Look oh my how gosh. yummy it looks. And that big piece of spinach. Oh Let's take gosh. a bite at the same time. Okay. Okay. Wait, let me get the best bite. Get a good bite. I want a cheesy bite. Oh Imagine gosh. that. I want like a little bit. Of everything? Of everything. Hopefully oh, I look at this big this onion up. bite. Mm. Onion breath. That's fine. Ah! Okay. Help. Do you need help eating? No. Okay, ready? Maybe. Cheers. Can I use my fingers? Sure. It's your food. Okay. I'm gonna clean. <gasps> okay. Oh, it broke. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. I don't even wanna talk. I just wanna have another bite. All right. You can find a printable version of this recipe on my website, aholadcheese.com. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future episodes. Delicious things being made. Yep, and all the bonus content that may be coming your way. And don't forget, everything's better with a whole lot of cheese. Uh, your chopping feels are, you know, pretty decent. Yes, all right. You know, I don't wanna like, <laughs> get you too excited that you're an excellent chopper. Oh, you like the green. I do.
That and Brussels sprouts, believe it or not. Okay, we're not putting Brussels sprouts in our breakfast. I'm <laughs> not expecting them to go in there. Do you have a trick for grating uh, cheese and not slicing yourself? No. You're just that good at it. You just have to be careful.